guys. Good morning. Today we're going to be learning how to make a board game and you can either do a spelling board game or a maths board game and then you can play it with your families and give them funny forfeits to do. So I'm going to show you what you need and how to play. So all you're going to need is some paper or card. You can use an old cereal box if you like or you could use a parcel from Amazon. Anything like that will work. Or you can just use some plain paper and use some felt tips to pretty it up. And we're going to need some glue, some sellotape, and we're going to need a dice to play the game with, and some counters. For the counters, you can use anything you want, anything from around the house, or you can use one from a board game you already have at home. So, here are some examples of the games that I've made. So this is a snake-themed spelling game. And you've got your start here and your finish in the middle and you work your way around the board. And this is an example of a rocket ship maths game that I've made where you have to work your way from the start at the bottom of the rocket all the way to the top. And it's got different maths questions on it and it's got a challenge in the middle. Can you count in tens all the way to 100? So I'm not going to show you how to make these ones, I'm going to do a different one and then you can make it however you want to. So we're going to start with two bits of paper and what you can do is you can make your paper bigger by sellotaping them together. So we're going to put the two bits of paper here like this, we're going to sellotape and we're going to tape them together like that. And then we can turn it around so we're using the side that doesn't have the sellotape on it. The sellotape is at the back. Okay, so get your marker and you're going to make a passageway that you're going to travel through. You could do it in the theme of a snake if you want, like a rocket, a bus, a car, anything, a road that you like. But I'm going to do a really, really simple shape now, okay? So I'm just going to I'll move this up so that you can see. I'm just going to start with my marker and do a passageway along. And then I'm going to do another one underneath that goes all the way along like a pavement or a road. And mine's sort of like a W shape. And you can split them up to make different stepping stones. You can make these as small or as big as you like. like so then the fun bit you get to decorate your stepping stones all different colors so i'm going to choose one to start with and remember to cut it really really neatly in one direction all the way along so that's going to take me a little while so i so, here's one I made earlier that is all decorated. Okay, like this. So I've chosen different colours, I've stuck stickers on it, you can be as imaginative as you like. And now, we need to add on our spelling words, okay? So if you're in year one or year two, you could use your 100 high frequency word list that you have at home, or if these ones are too easy for you, don't worry you can think of some of your own trickier words. Maybe go back and look at some of your own spelling words from your phonics over the past couple of weeks. Or if you're really good at spellings and you want to practice your maths, you can put some maths and adding and some taking away to challenge yourself. So I'm gonna put in my words. Oh, I know I'm gonna add some in that I get messed up with at school sometimes. I'm going to put my words in, make sure I spell them right, use my neatest handwriting. So 
I've put a word in every single um, passage. Then I'm going to cut out my board game. throw away the extra paper because we can use that bit later. Okay, nearly there. This is getting exciting. Right, so the board game, the board has been created. Now we need to make some crazy forfeit cards. So to do that, use your leftover card, okay? And create lots of little card rectangle shapes. So you can use your leftover paper. challenge cards, your forfeit cards, you can think of a symbol if you like. I'm going to use a question mark because it's, oh, I wonder what you're going to get in this challenge. So I put the check the question mark on one side. And then on the other side, I've got to give a crazy forfeit for the person I'm playing to do. So it might be a forfeit like, I might ask you to pull a strange face. Or it might be to do 20 star jumps. Can you think of any even crazier ones? What about to spell your name backwards? That will be hard. I've got some more forfeit challenges here. Then, whoever's playing, so if me and Margot are playing, we each choose a character. So I'm going to be the Triceratops. And I think Margot likes to be a Stegosaurus. So we'll put a Spinosaurus, sorry. We'll put the Spinosaurus there. And you choose who's going to go first. Who's going to go first, Margot? I think she might want me to go first. The first player gets their dice. They roll the dice. Four. And they move four steps forward. One, two, three, four. That's my tricky word, like. Now I need to remember to spell it like without looking. Like. L I K. Like. It's got a crazy magic E on the end, L, I, K, E. Did I get it right? Yes, because I got the word right, Margot has to pick a forfeit. So this is the forfeit for Margot to do. Margot has to spell her name backwards. That's going to be tricky, Margot. Let's see if she can do it. O. G R A M. She could do it. Well done, Margot. Now it will be Margot's turn and she has to give me a crazy forfeit. Let's see, Margot, roll the dice. Six, she got six. Let's move her six. One, two, three, four, five, six. She has to spell have. Can you spell have, Margot? Let's see if she can spell it. 
She can, so she's got a forfeit for me. My forfeit is to pull a funny face. Is that a funny face? Did you like that one, Margot? Okay, so I hope you enjoy playing your own board games with your family. And just a reminder, we've got one that looks like this. As you can see, it's a crazy sort of spiral one. We've got one that looks like a snake. Oh, got it upside down. That's the right way around like that. And we've got a maths one that's to do with adding. So, I hope you enjoy making and playing some board games at home. Bye guys!